Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install Debian 9. So what's new in a Debian GNU Linux 9? Uh, your NICs are now no longer uh, named as ETH0 or ETH1. XORG server no longer requires running as a root user, so it's a security feature. MariaDB replaces older MySQL server. And updated software includes PHP 7, Vim 8, OpenSSS 7.4, Nginx 1.10 and more. So let's get started. I'm booting system from DVD drive. Okay, so we have graphical installer, then normal text-based installer here. I'm going to start with graphical installer. So first we need to select a language. I'm going to start with English. Then you need to select your location country then you need to select your keyboard layout after that it will detect CD ROM and required hardware then it will load installer component from CD this is going to take some time now it's detecting network hardware I'm going to use default DSCP so I'm not worried about network configuration my router will give IP address now you need to enter the host name for this system so let's type deb dash 9 dash demo oops dash demo and continue domain name no I'm not going to use any domain name here so just continue okay now you need to set up users and passwords first you need to set up root password you need to repeat password twice and then say continue okay type full name say Vivek and username for Vivek is Vivek continue now you must select a good password so I am going to type a password for the new user called Vivek ok now it's detecting my disk it means we need to partition our hard drive so I am going to stick with entire disk for demo purpose otherwise you can go with encrypted partitions also use the entire disk and continue this is my disk under VMware ok I am going to put all files in one partition for demo purpose ok finish finish this part and write changes to disk again write the changes to disk yes continue alright now it is installing the base system this is going to be installed from your DVD or CV CD drive it's going to take a little bit time now it's installing kernel the Linux kernel version 4.9.0.3 64-bit kernel okay it's taking a little more time okay now it's scanning my DVD and do you have another CD or DVD? No. Okay, use a network mirror. Yes, we need to use network mirror for updates, security updates, and to install new software. You can select available mirror from.
on the list depend upon your country and just say continue okay now it is fetching updates basically scanning the mirror and retrieving file for us it's going to take a little bit time again depend upon your network speed okay now it is updating software again downloading some files I think next it's going to ask us about desktop environment let us see still installing and configuring software okay participate in the package user survey you can select yes or no depend upon your choice okay now it's giving us option because only the core of the system is installed we need to install graphical user interface then SSS server so I'm going to select SSS server then met desktop LXD let's select let us select all desktops again this might take a lot of time if you select all desktop notice downloading fetching those file okay you need to select this uh, display manager I'm going to stick with GTM 5 or oh, sorry GTM 3 I'm going to install GTM 3 okay now it's going to install all those desktop environment open SSS server and related libraries this is going to take some time and make sure your network is free <laughs> otherwise it will take a little bit time so I might skip a little bit here let us see I'm going to pause my video recording so that don't have to okay okay it's still taking time it's going to take time because I selected all those desktop environment this is I think made made desktop it just installed now it is installing some plugins I think we are almost done I skipped at least 10 minutes 10 minutes worth of recording but it's still doing the system is also a little bit slower okay okay cleaning up it's mean means we are almost done next it's going to install bootloader it's still cleaning still cleaning up still cleaning up okay it's still cleaning up linear part is over 
okay it's now installing grub bootloader okay install the grub bootloader to the master boot record yes and continue yes install bootloader on SDA device that's my first only hard drive okay now it is setting up the hardware and finishing our installation okay installation is complete so it's time to boot into our new environment this is my first boot it's going to be my first boot okay this is the grub GNU grub bootloader and because of system D the booting process is going to be quite faster see now select username type password and click on this small icon here to select desktop environment I'm going to stick with default for now okay okay this is the default Debian 9 environment it's met desktop environment let us try to open mm, the terminal application where is my met terminal I think it's in system tools okay 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 okay, okay. Uh, yeah it's here met terminal so let us see the IP address information see the network interface name is changed in Debian 8 and older it was ETH 0 ETH 1 let's try to ping something okay so network is working that's good let us try to log in as root user I think I type wrong password yeah okay now I'm a, I'm a root user I'm going to remove that uh, DVD as the installation source just comment out this line and save okay we are done exit so all software will be now going all software I'm going to install from the internet itself only no more DVD okay these are different softwares let's log out and try out something else my password again click on little icon and select genome desktop okay save history yeah sure whatever so this is typical genome 3 environment you can see Firefox then other application we can open terminal again just close the terminal okay log out these are the all settings pretty standard setup G genome 3 log out let's try password again click on that little icon and we'll try Norman desktop yes okay it's giving the soft rendering mode warning so this is another desktop nice very nice all the applications are there terminal application just click 
click on that warning box okay so just try out some host command or something this is basically desktop debian 9 desktop okay let's click on green icon and say log out let's try out one more desktop environment okay we'll try out plasma KDE plasma okay KDE is starting nice desktop background wired connection okay so K icon application my computer all the applications are there all free software these are the system settings so this is I'm just giving you quick preview I'm not going in details how to change the settings just a quick preview that's all let's close this one leave and shut down we're going to shut down this demo now Let's leave shut down okay so overall Debian 9 is pretty good I like it 